the top. Let's okay, go. Okay, boys and girls, today we're learn how to subtract using the place value strategy. It's, it's very similar to adding like place with using the place value strategy, but just a few differences and we'll dig into those. Okay. So, our first step, step 1 when subtracting using the place value strategy is to first let's build our hundreds, tens, and ones chart, or our HDO chart, as you may have heard. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and build that now. H, T, O, our H is for hundreds, our T is for tens, and our O is for ones, as we should already know. And I'm gonna make mine kind of, it's a little sloppy, but it'll work. Okay, perfect. Now that we have step one down, we have our HDO chart. Now we're on to step okay. two. So for step two, what you're gonna wanna do is build the bigger number only, okay? So take a look at these two numbers. Which one is bigger? 482, you're gonna build the bigger number only. So let's only build 482. Here we go, so I'm gonna put my 400s down. 100, 200, 300, 400s. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to put my eight tens down. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. And I'm going to put my two ones down. One, two. Okay, perfect. Now we've done our first two steps. First thing we did was made our HGO chart. The second thing we did was build the bigger number only. Boom, and then now on to our last step. You're just gonna subtract the second number. Okay, so let's start subtracting, and that is the fun part because I love taking away things, I love slashing them out. So we have 100, we, it says we need to take away 100. Boom, perfect, we can do that. It says we need to take away four tens. Can we take away four tens? Yes, we can, let's do that. 10, 20, 30, 40, oh, okay. Now it says we need to take away five ones. Wait a minute, I don't have five ones. All right, so we need to take away five ones, but we only have two. Or that's kind of like saying, I want you to eat five Skittles, but you only have two Skittles. So what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna have to go to our 10 spot. And just like when we added, uh, added these numbers and we made a group of 10, and moved it and transformed over, like transformed and he moved over to the tens. Well, we're gonna have to break one of these tens up into 10 ones. So, what I want you to do is pick one. Which one are you going to break up? I wanna pick this guy right here. He looks good. Circle him, okay? We're gonna break him up into 10 ones. Now, get your, your hammer. Here we go and hit him. Boom! And you break him up into 10 ones. So let's go ahead and put down 10 ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm gonna cross him out to know he is done. Okay, now that we've broken him back up into 10 ones, let's count how many ones we have all together now. So I have five, 10, 11, 12. Now I have 12 ones. Ready to go. Now, can I eat five of them? Perfect, yes I can. So now I'm gonna cross out five of them. So one, two, three, four, five, perfect. Now we can just put how much left over and that is our answer. Okay, so let's count how many we have. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect, so seven left over. How many tens do we have left over? Let's count by tens, 10, 20, 30. And how many hundreds we have left over? One, two, three, three hundred. So our answer is 337. Boom. So 482 subtracted by 145 is 337. That is how you subtract using the place value strategy. I hope it works out for you. Let me know how it goes.